Welcome to our comparison video of switching from 255 65th R17 to 265 65th R17. We'll explore the key differences and see if this switch is a noticeable upgrade. First up, fitment. The 265 65th R17 has a 1.7% larger diameter than the 255 65th R17, well within the 3% safe limit. This minimal increase suggests that you likely won't need modifications like lift kits to prevent rubbing issues. The 265 65th R17 tire provides a slightly taller sidewall, increasing ground clearance by about 0.26 inches. While minimal, this could be beneficial for very mild off-roading, but it's unlikely to drastically alter your vehicle's capabilities or speedometer readings significantly. The 265 65th R17 has a slightly larger width and diameter. This could potentially lead to a marginal decrease in fuel efficiency due to increased rolling resistance. However, the difference is likely to be negligible for most drivers. Aesthetically, the 265 65th R17 might offer a slightly more robust appearance due to its larger size. However, the difference is subtle and may not significantly impact the overall look of your vehicle. With an increase of only 0.26 inches in sidewall height, the 265 65th R17 the 17th of may offer a marginally improved ability to absorb impacts compared to the 255 65th R17. This difference might be noticeable on rough terrain but likely subtle on well-maintained roads. The wider 265 65th R17 could provide a slight improvement in stability, particularly in off-road scenarios. On paved roads, any difference in handling between the two sizes would likely be minimal and go unnoticed by most drivers. With the 265 65th R17, your speedometer will read slightly slower than your actual speed. When your speedometer reads 20 miles per hour, your actual speed will be closer to 20.34 miles per hour. This minor discrepancy is unlikely to have significant real-world implications. Based on our observation, switching from 255 65th R17 to 265 65th R17 offers minimal changes. Benefits include a slight increase in ground clearance and potentially improved off-road stability, but these advantages are subtle. On road, the differences in ride comfort, handling, and fuel efficiency are likely to be imperceptible. The speedometer discrepancy is negligible. Overall, while the 265 65th R17 does provide some minor benefits in off-road capabilities and aesthetics, the upgrade may not be significant enough to warrant a change for most drivers unless they're specifically seeking those slight improvements or require a new set of tires anyway.